In this and the previous release, uh, the text editor in Revit is undergoing a major transformation. In the previous release, the text editor was revamped and overhauled and uh, added new uh, list editing features that uh, were not previously uh, available or easy to accomplish with uh, text editing uh, within Revit. So for example, if I select this uh, general notes viewport here, right click, activate the view, then select one of the text elements and uh, double click in it to get into text edit mode. Um, the more modern text editor appears here on the ribbon, and you can do many of the things that, of course, uh, you've always been able to do, things like bold or italic, but we've also got some um, additional uh, features as well, like the ability to add superscripts and subscripts. So if I wanted to add a a footnote at the end of the notes. I can add a superscript uh, number right there. Now, we also have these list management features that uh, were previously unavailable. So if I select a list of items, uh, I can make it into a bullet list with a single click or a numbered or lettered list. Um, we can increase the indenting and reduce the indenting. So many of these features uh, we've had now since uh, the previous release. Now, this release continues uh, the work that's, being, that's been done in the text editor and introduces the ability to uh, easily add symbols uh, into your text elements. So uh, just place your cursor wherever you want to add a symbol, right click, and you'll have a whole uh, menu full of symbol choices uh, available to you. So whether you want to add uh, pre-made fractions or uh, radius or diameter symbols, or if you want to add any number of math, you know, Greek letters for mathematical symbols and so on. In fact, uh, if you right click and you don't see the symbol that you want uh, here on this pre-made list, you can go to other and that will display the character map in Windows and you'll be able to access any of the symbols built into any of the fonts on your Windows system. So, so the text editor now fully participates with the uh, full character sets of any of your installed fonts. Now, I'll double click off to the side here to get out of that uh, viewport. And uh, right here, you can see some additional text. This text is actually part of the um, uh, title block uh, family. So I'll select the uh, title block, edit the family. And um, you can see here that I have these two text elements that I'm zoomed in on, uh, this one here and this one here. This one is um, all in uppercase. This one here is in mixed case. So um, this is now easy to adjust directly here in the text editor using the all caps button right here. So if you decide you want to make something all uppercase or lowercase, very easy to do. And then I'll load this back into the project, overwrite the existing. And now with this being all in uppercase, if you compare it to the text over here, you can see that... Um, the text both in the symbols and tags and the text in text note objects is rendering uh, the same way. But if you really want to kind of prove that to yourself, that it's in fact uh, rendering exactly the same way, uh, I've got another view here that I can show you. I'm going to open up this level one floor plan and I'm going to zoom in nice and close um, on this doorway here. Now this is a standard door tag and this is just a piece of text. This is just a text note. So I'm going to take this uh, door tag symbol here and start to drag it over here and you'll notice that that 101 exactly matches the 101 in the standard text note uh, underneath. So um, the text engine that's being used to render text within tags is now the same engine that's being used to render standard text notes, giving you uh, much more consistency across all of the text within your project.